Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are delighted to be out here on uh, Foot Street, uh, where we are kicking off the tree planting uh, season. <laughs> and right here in front of our freshly mowed uh, lawn at uh, 4407 <laughs> Foot Street, Northeast. Uh, you know, this is, this is really an important occasion for us. We have, for the last several years anyway, had a formal event when we kicked off tree planting season uh, because it is such an important part of uh, life uh, in the city. Um, we have a, uh, a wonderful tree canopy uh, in the city and uh, it is an important part again of what life means uh, in the District uh, of Columbia. Uh, for those who don't know, we are fully committed to being a green city. Uh, we are, by the way, for those who don't know, we are in the top ten for urban forests uh, in the nation. And we track all of this stuff. If anybody puts us in the top ten of anything, we'll, we'll, we'll find it and we'll talk about it. But this is one where, where I think we have every right to talk about it because I don't think there are a lot of cities in the same situation that we're in. Uh, you go through some of these cities and you will see, um, you know, lots of concrete and asphalt and they don't have the number of trees that we have uh, here in the District of Columbia. So we're very excited about that. We have, uh, since we did our sustainability plan, which is now uh, several uh, years ago, uh, we, it's the third year, I guess, for our sustain, 2000, well, actually the plan itself was done in 2012 and then released in 2013. Uh, the vision statement was done in 2011, and uh, we have worked with Fidelity to try to get it fully implemented. One of the things you will find in there is our commitment to tree planting, because we know that tree planting has such major um, uh, benefits uh, to the city, not the least of which, frankly, in some cases, it helps with, uh, with crime uh, when you have more trees uh, in the neighborhood. And frankly, it certainly helps also with stormwater runoff, uh, and other things that help to pollute, unfortunately, our waterways. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, in 2012, we planted 6,400 trees. Uh, the following year, in 2013, we upped our game a little bit, and we went to 7,000, and we did last year, in 2014, this year, I should say, our goal is to plant uh, 8,000 trees, and today kicks off that process um, I don't think we'll be able to get all 8,000 planted in one day. Uh, that was supposed to be a joke, guys. <laughs> of course we won't, but we will. We're going to make that. We've made the 6,400 goal. We've made the, um, the uh, 7,000 goal, and we're going to make the 8,000 goal also because it is an important thing to be able to keep our promises, uh, and we will do that. I'm delighted to be joined today by our director of the uh, Department of Transportation here in the District of Columbia. Uh, we've been together a lot the last few days, haven't we, man? <laughs> a lot of great events. Yeah, we launched the uh, MOVE DC plan, which is our uh, transportation plan for the next 25 years in the District of Columbia. Um, and uh, we have a two-year plan, which is really uh, a little more in, in the near term that will focus on a number of issues that will improve transportation options in the District of Columbia. And then this morning we were uh, there to kick off the uh, uh, snow uh, practice run, uh, which uh, our people are working on uh, at this stage. And now I'm glad to be with Matt Brown for the kickoff uh, of our uh, tree planting season. So Matt, thank you for being out here and I'd love to have you come up and say a few words. Great. Thank you, Mr. Right. Thanks and, and good morning. This is a really exciting day to kick off the fall, uh, the fall season. As the mayor said, this has become an important uh, event that we do every fall. We do it for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, to celebrate the impact that trees are having in the District of Columbia. Uh, number two is to remind people to care for the street trees. We have a great program called Canopy Keepers. You can find out about it online. Uh, we encourage residents to adopt trees in front of their houses or, or trees nearby and to help keep them, uh, keep them watered during the summer. Of course, we're headed into winter, uh, but uh, that's something to remember next year. Um, we're also taking a more aggressive role in, plant, in, uh, in caring for the trees after they've been planted. Uh, this last uh, summer, uh, we, vi we visited trees 62,000 times. So 62,000 times 
uh, DDOT staff and contractors went and we watered trees to help them to survive the, uh, to survive the, the summer. Uh, it was over a million gallons of water, and you can imagine the effort that went into delivering a million gallons of water yeah. to street trees all across the district. Um, I mentioned the Canopy Keepers program. That's something that I'd ask all district residents to sign up for uh, in the spring. Uh, we'll continue uh, the, the planting season through the fall and we'll begin again in the spring. And it's really the summer where we need extra help. Uh, I also want to talk about something that uh, has been really helpful as we've been managing all of the street trees, and that's technology. Uh, I think a lot of times when people think about trees, they think of uh, you know, the shovels to dig the holes like the tree we're about to, we're about to plant, uh, pruning that goes on. Of course, during storms, sometimes uh, trees fall on the road. But what we've been able to do, Mr. Mayor, is we have geocoded every single street tree in the District of Columbia, and we know where they are. Um, and then our, our arborists use that information on their tablets. So if somebody calls in 311 and wants to report a limb down, or they want, they're concerned about the condition of a tree, or even if they, they have a, a box, a, a tree space where they want a tree planted, uh, we, uh, contractor, yeah. We, uh, we use all this information through technology. Our arborists have, um, have, pa have tablets, computer tablets, uh, that helps guide their work every day. It helps them report conditions of, of trees. And technology has really been, uh, has enabled us to take care of the, of the trees we have and to plan for the, the trees that will be coming. And uh, another thing that is very interesting about technology is that we are able, uh, and it is, uh, this sounds a little far-fetched, but w through a program that uses lasers that, from airplanes, we are able to monitor, identify trees. And so we're actually involved in some, uh, in some enforcement actions that are going on right now where we're using data that we've gathered, honestly, from uh, lasers on airplanes. Um, let, the tr let the truck go by. Uh, but we, we know a lot more about the, the, the tree canopy than people might think. And uh, so the days when, when folks have been able to uh, illegally clear cut uh, district trees, special trees that require a permit, We'll be over soon. We, we know where the trees are, and uh, we're, we're out to protect them. Um, so with that, uh, I also want to talk about quickly uh, the DDOT website. has a lot of great information about our work. Um, you can actually go on today. Uh, it's DDOT, uh, ddot.gov and look at trees. You can see where we're going to plant every one of those 8,000 trees, um, specific locations. You can look and see if there's one in front of your house. You can see the, the type of tree that will be planted. And I'm proud to say 2,000 of those trees are going to be planted right here in Ward 7. So uh, that's a, it's a tremendous, tremendous amount. Uh, well, there's about another, yes. <laughs> about another 2,000 that will be planted in Ward 8. Uh, so about half of the well over half of what we're doing half of the trees will be planted yeah, in the east end of the of the city, and I, I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of the program. I'm proud of the staff. I want to recognize John Thomas, Will Utsler, uh, tremendous tremendous work that's done uh, to care and and keep up the tree canopy. So thank you. Thank you. You gonna say a word? Earl, you want to come up and say a word? Well, we've already called you now. <laughs> it doesn't have to be lengthy. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'd just like to thank the mayor for his continued support. We've, uh, under his leadership, we've been able to continually expand the number of trees we plant every year. Uh, and uh, it, what it's resulted in is a rapidly changing urban forest uh, for the better. So a few years ago, we were removing the same number of trees that we were planting on an annual basis. And, and as it stands today, we, uh, we plant four trees, new trees, for every one tree we remove That's all right, across exactly. the city. So um, by any metric, the, uh, all the indicators are trending in the right direction for the urban forest here in DC. So, piece of information, right? yeah. So, thank, thank you. you for your leadership on that. Absolutely, thank you, man. Thank you. All right, guys, that is really a good piece of information. For every one tree that uh, is removed, we, we're planting four. That means we're going to have a very substantial tree canopy in a very uh, short order. So, you know what? I'm going to ask everybody to join us uh, as we now do the ceremonial. Uh, shoveling of the dirt and uh, get ready to go get those other 7,999 trees started uh, in the city. <laughs>
right. And just remember, guys, when it comes to trees in the District of Columbia, we're continuing to branch out. There you go. <laughs>